Wow, okay. I'm, I'm sorry for handling it roughly like this. But I assure you that the insect is unharmed. But what is it anyway? This insect is a very colorful species of lanternfly that I encountered during my work in the Brazilian Atlantic rainforest in the natural reserve of Regua, the Sierra Ecológica de Guapiatsu. And if you want to learn more about it, you came to the right place. This channel is dedicated to the study of insects and educating people about them. Let's get started! This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. Wow! What an unusual insect! And look at its large unusual snout. That's just crazy dude! This one is a lanternfly, and I determined it to be the species Frictus diadema. Lanternflies in Brazil can have crazy shapes, sizes and colors. A lot of species of them smell bitter and probably sequester plant compounds that make them unpalatable or even noxious. They are vegetarians and this species sucks on the sap of plants using its piercing mouthparts. Thankfully some of their host plants have been recorded. Among the recorded host plants I found Theoboma cacao, or cacao tree for example, yes the one used to make chocolate. They have a strong smell and I'm guessing they taste bad, which explains that when they feel threatened, they raise their wings in order to reveal two super colorful hind wings, which I guess may serve as a warning to any predator thinking of making an easy lunch out of them. A form of aposematism perhaps. These insects are commonly attracted to artificial light at nights, which suggests they have a lot of nocturnal activity going on. They are actually decent flyers. Despite the seemingly inconvenient snout, they can jump and fly with great speeds and sustain flight. The structure on their head is actually reportedly hollow and less heavy than if it were solid and made of chitin. How interesting, this is for sure one crazy insect. I looked a lot in literature to study this insect, but interestingly, once again, there is little information about their immature stages, their ecology and life history. That goes to show how little we understand about insects in the rainforest and how much more studying is warranted. This is why I work as an entomologist documenting invertebrates in Brazil. Insects are the most important animals for terrestrial ecosystems, are vital for pollination, seed dispersal, but also as herbivores that manage the vegetation in several complex ways. This insect was found and photographed in Regua, a natural reserve Ecologica de, Reserva Ecologica de Guapiatsu in Brazil. Last but not least, my entire YouTube channel is demonetized and YouTube refuses to tell me why. This is quite sad because I'm hardworking and uploaded over 1300 videos and while no one is entitled to anything just for making videos, it's hard to continue my work sometimes without financial support. Only if you can afford it, of course, and are willing and able to, and believe in what I do, consider donating to me or my channel. The money I raise online is used to document and study insects for conservation, research, travel costs and filming equipment. Thank you and goodbye. I hope to see you in my next video with a cool insect.